Hello everyone, Xenonism here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire, Fire Emblem Xenoblade. I keep doing that. Uh, last time, well, we've, we've been doing this quest and we're about to end it. However, yeah, I'm just here to show you how I've done, how I've changed up the team and how they've leveled up a bit. But now... Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! I looked for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, Mama. Uh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just, please. I did this for everyone. I understand your feelings, but... Ugh. Well, I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. Then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong, Noah? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. Noah, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. <laughs> I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. Class, Flash Fencer, Rule Attacker. Manana to whip up some grub. 
Hey, listen to this, will ya? <laughs> All right, everyone. Time to head out. All right. Now it's time to rest. Can we ask Manana to whip up some grub? There we go. Feel stronger. Huh. There we go. Rest. Yeah, let's get some food on the go. Another bit thinner, I think. <sighs> Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again, I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Ah, yes. I did know that. I guess maybe I will take a dip. Had a girl. <sighs> okay. Don't wait for me. All right, then. Have a good one. And good night. Yeah. Good night, Sana. Last night clearance is complete. I'm sorry I couldn't have been sooner. Thank you, Ethel. Thanks to that, we'll be able to make it through to Ruby Flats. Clan 4's engineers are excellent. We took care of it faster than I would fault the wound. Guess we'll be saying bye bye to calling it 4. We owe you, Ethel. No, it is I who is indebted to you. In your spare time, you ought to call in on Boreas. Really taking a line to all of you. Cool. Yeah, we'll go see him. Also, there's something I need to tell you before you all depart. There are many prying eyes and hungry ears here. You should take this into command. Understood. We've got places we need to be.
you're on this house. That's fine. Let's progress the story. I have to ask, before you go, why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose, it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once. And yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish it could be. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. And you can't do it remotely. Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies, too. And what if... what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it, really. Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would, well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do. Even within this colony, many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight, as you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? 
Yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Ouroboros, huh? If only... we could have been there as well. We should check the route there again, make sure we're on the right path. We're on course for Sore March. <laughs> First we need to take the southeast route through Beefy Flats. Ah yes, that's the route that Ethel recommended. Correct. She said the battlefronts are pretty static at the moment. But do we have any intel about colony deployment? As far as Ethel and Colony 4 is concerned, we've got a pretty good idea. But what about any others? Wouldn't, I wouldn't expect any shenanigans, shenanigans all the way out here. In any case, we must let our guard down along the way. Did you could be lurking anywhere in the background. So it's security stocks us. Not much we can do about a Vavo. Ah, oh, come on, man. We'll muddle through. Let's hope so. Hey, I mean, if we run into their colony, colony isn't necessary for a bad thing. Uh, are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kevis. Either one would mean getting into a dust up. True. But what I mean was, if we destroyed the flame clock, We'd set everyone free, like we did for Colony 4. Easy to say. Well, sure. I mean, the conditions allow it. If we're brushing off embers, we'll have no choice in the matter. That's right. And maybe it's best if we put off worrying about that until time comes. You need speaking sense there. True. We can't. We can just react to events as they happen. Play a bit here. Gotcha. I'll plan myself to that. Let's march on. Interesting. We still don't have a quick way of moving. Now we have the warning level, which... Oof. There's not much I can talk about right now because it's just like we're in the calm before the sore. We've been spotted. God, I'm not caring for that. That Aspar though, might be good training. Calling four squad. Bro. Feels 
weird, honestly. He's fighting with alongside enemies. Go. Shane attacker. That's not being done. It's pointless. It's going to solve that. This is the power with which we fight. Well, what did you think without it? Butterfly Flash! Hide over here! There's a fight! Now I'm ready to make some waves. Barrett! Hurt! Save us! What? We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Let's Thank the take. flame, I'll finally be free of this eager's wilderness. Oh, hey, I just realized I left something back at four, so. Ah, gotcha. Wipe them! Slowly. 
Conquered. Lance clinches it. Ah, give me a break. We all worked hard for that. Soldier sauce. I guess this is fate too, huh? Noah, what are you doing? Privy Flats. Topographical info updated. Getting late. We should find somewhere to rest. They're fighting tier two. I can get affinity points for calling for. But I'm going to get the Here we go, points. guys. I'll follow you, What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Whoa, what's with that one? No. Oh, wait a minute. It's another thing to see it for yourself. There's a camp. Here's a good spot to catch our breath. Crafting gems. Sounds like a scoop. Nemo. We got new folks on the map. Some relationships changed. each other rude no we're not fighting them again Ow. 
Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. What a fight. Looking good, huh? Yeah. White flag. Traveling. Topographical info update. Oh, that's a rare one. Yeah, I'd better send them off. Face an elite, but I'm not. I honestly don't think it's worth it. That's not going to help. There we go. No, let's climb. Watch this quick set gems. Or a vehicle. Starting to get real hungry now. Really? Really enemies? Hey, up there. If we set up camp there, we'll have good visibility. I think it's time we took a break. Riku for one, one to rest. Anyway, Brilliant's walking has left legs like numbed out sausage. Sausage is indeed. Meal time is here. Sounds good. Let's go for it. I say we should be resting ships. I can take sentry duty first. Ah, uh, Mimi, let me back you up on that. Okay. Then let's take a break there. thinking those guys are so selfish selfish how you know what I mean every time we interlink they're the ones taking the lead and me all I do is watch oh 
that's what you mean. Tell me you don't think so too. Maybe not selfish, but like, hey, why didn't you move that way? And stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, right? So you'd prefer to take the reins? I just want to do more. Like, pull my weight. You know? <laughs> That's so you, Senna. I think it's probably fine, though. They're just being protective, I think. Like what Noah said? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll get our turn. You sure? Yeah. Positive. Really? More walking similar. Oh, how walking good! No, we're not. We're not getting that airdrop. Not worth it. Especially with Arden chasing us. Seriously. Hey, that's a supply drop, right? Yeah, I know. I know it's a supply drop. I'm not getting it. It's a little bit out of the way. It's not good. Topographical info updated. I really wish the Rust Creek set gems. God. Probably shouldn't be climbing up this one, huh? But this is the route Ethel told us to take. No question. Well, I guess that means... We'll just, uh, have to keep going then. Hey, Valdi! Where are you? Huh? Outside the colony? Well, yeah, I know that. It's bad. The console's searching for you. Gotcha. Just make up something. Sorry, make up? Let's look for a place we can climb from. I'll take a look around here. Okay, I'll check out over here. Forcing her. Ouroboros, fight me! That was close call. Almost flattened like buttery pancake. Ah, sorry. Apology grudgingly accepted. <laughs> hey. Are you Ouroboros too? Factually untrue. Manana is just Manana. Ah, that's a relief. I really didn't want to have to fight a nop on. Oh, Valdi, by the way, if I may. Mm -hmm. Is this? What are you guys doing? Ugh. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! That was awesome. We're the ones you got beef with. Come on, bring it! 
<laughs> you can't beat me. Here I come. Play a volley last. Oh, 
smash up elevenness like that. I need to figure out how you guys managed to do it. Nothing to observe. Frame was structurally poor. Evident that driving wheel could not withstand torque. The driving wheel, you say? I wonder if it's because it was upgraded from lightweight to a more heavy assault style. Did I mess up the handling? But the armor had to withstand a charge. I had to fudge the weight to keep a good turning circle. Uh... Yes, you're absolutely right. I can't believe you could tell with just one look. Hey, would you teach me everything you know? Noah? Uh, who exactly are you? Oh, I'm Valdi, Levenis Builder from Colony 30. I heard that anyone who defeats you gets a whole buttload of supplies from the castle as a reward. But, yeah, you won, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, everything's just hunky-dory. What the stuff are you playing at? Not playing anything. You're really a mechanic? From Colony 30? Who's the commander for that one again? Oh, yeah, that would be me. Pull the other one! Wow, don't look so surprised. I did hear that Colony 30's commander was the greatest mechanic in Keves. Not sure I would say greatest, but I am bonkers about Levenesses. Valdi! Hey, you Zet! What's up? Surely that's my line. The Lebby signal just cut out. What happened? Oh, it just got a bit bashed about. But everything's fine. I'll be back home soon. You're going back alone? Huh? I... I was just wondering how you expect to manage that. Oh. Oh, it's fine. The colony's not that far away. I'll just cannibalize these bits and pieces into a new levels. Quick as you like. That would take so much salvaging. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can't do it alone. How did I know it would come to this? <sighs> Guess we'll do your grunt work. All right, hit us. What's the shopping list? You'd really help me. Well, we're not going to leave you alone to fend for yourself. Thank you so much, large man. Lands man. I mean, lands. Then lands I shall call you. Let's get cracking. I'll send the likely sites for debris to your iris. Valdi has temporarily joined the party. We got new folks on the map. And... Oh! Got some. Oh, that's nice. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, first though. Uh, Revolution, Revolution Edge. Edge.
go. So, with that, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we will actually do what Voldy wants us to do, and he went from level 21 to level 20. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Xenon is about signing out.